This is Alan here at NEB 2024 for Personal View, and I'm with Simon here at the Black Magic booth, and he's showing me Resolve 19, which is the latest and greatest Resolve. Indeed. So we have, I mean, there's so many new features in Resolve 19. I mean, you may have seen um, Grant's video on Friday that showed the replay system. Um, so there's a huge amount in the new software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk, talk you through some of the key new features in here. And I'll start with the, um, the color page. Oh. So one of the first things we've got in the color page is a, um, the color slice tool. So this is a new tool in Resolve. So what it allows you to do it allows you to basically work on areas of your color space without any keying, without any sort of isolating. You don't have to use things like qualifiers. And it just allows you to work on the different color slices in your color space. So for example, with this, let me, uh, it's going to reset that node. So for example, if we take a look at a shot like this, um, I've, I've got a shot in here and I've got a character and he's quite close to the color of the background. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to adjust his skin tone. Now, commonly what people may have done with this is use the qualifier to go in and select the, the skin tone. But then what you'd have to do that is sort of play around with your mask and make sure it kind of wasn't boiling at the edges and it takes a little bit of time. But now with my color slice tools, as you can see, I do have an area for skin tone. So with the skin tone in here, as you can see, I can adjust things like the density of the skin tone. I can actually change the saturation. So I can pull the saturation up and down. I can also sort of even tweak the color. So again, if I up the density and up the, up the saturation a little bit, I can also maybe adjust the hue. And again, and as you can see with this, I'm just affecting the skin tone in the shot. So again, the color slices allows you to adjust specific hues in your image easily and efficiently. Thank you again. So um, there's a few new features that I really like. Um, one of the new AI features we have is the defocus background. Um, this is one of my favorites. So if I have a shot just here and I'd like to just to defocus the background, um, what I have to do, first of all, is create a map for it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I will create um, a magic mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my magic mask tool in here. So I'm going to use the object. And again, what I'm going to do is just select my character. And let me change this to better. And I'm just going to keep. So as you can see, I've selected my character here. I can track this now. Ah, my tracking's a little bit off. Let me uh, let me try that again. I think my tracking wanders off a little bit there. There we go. Let me uh, just try and track that again. So there we go. What I've, what I've done there is I've created, using the object mask, I've created a map for my character. I will just turn that off a second. And now what I'm going to do is I'll add an extra node. And I've now got the defocus background. Ah. So the defocus background I can apply. And then if I just pipe the alpha channel from my magic mask into the background, you can now see I can create really nice looking depth of field. Yeah. You could you could sort of do this with the the mag, things like the magic mask before, but you tended to get sort of soft edges. But now with this you get really nice sort of defocused effects. So I can sort of desaturate the background a little bit more. I can colorize the background. And as you can see it doesn't affect my character in the foreground. So that's one of the, the, the tools that I really like. I'll, uh, also show the text-based editing. The text-based editing. Okay, cool. So yeah, so the text-based editing, um, this is something you again, yeah, it uses our AI um, tools. Um, it uses DaVinci Resolve's neural engine. Uh, we had text-based editing in 18.5, but in version 19, it's kind of, oh, yeah. it's gone on to a, another level. We've sort of really enhanced it. Uh, what I will do is let me just 
jump into a new timeline. So what I can do is if I've got a clip here with dialogue, I can simply say transcribe audio. What it will do is using DaVinci Resolve's neural engine, it will go through, analyze the audio and create text from that analysis. So here we go. Here is my transcription. As you can see, I can assign speakers to things. So speaker number here is, I think it's Tom. So again, I can assign speakers. I love I that. Can, oops, I can assign speakers. I should that be is to. so cool. That is very, very helpful. Yeah, and as you said, it, it's, te it's text-based editing. So you can see now if, if I sort of play the clip back, you can see the, the playhead moving along. If I select a, uh, a sentence, it marks in and out point so I can edit that onto the timeline. But what we've done now in Resolve, you, in 18.5, you could only do it in, on the source clip. But now what we've done, um, you can do it in the timeline as well. So Thank for you. example, if I oopsie, uh, put this shot into the timeline, if I put the whole shot into the timeline, uh, and then I go back to the transcription tool, you can see I can edit in the timeline as well. Now we can see with this, there's a lot of gaps. So where we have the little bracket tools, um, they're gaps. So for example, if I had an interview and I just wanted to get rid of all the gaps, I can just say, delete gaps and it will edit my timeline and remove all the gaps and close <laughs> In real time. Up. So again, yeah, if you've got really long interviews to listen to, you can just easily remove those and then... That's just so cool. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, because it was more a, a harder process before to get to this point. Yeah. So I'm really glad that you've done this. Yeah, I said, because we, we like getting feedback from people, and I said, that's the feedback we had is like, it's great, but it'd be great if we could do it in the timeline as well. So again, this is what we got, you know, you can go and replace, um, you know, you can go and replace words, you can cut and paste sentences. Um, one of the things that I like, so, because I'm based in Europe, we, um, you know, you'll get uh, interviews that aren't in my native language, I only speak English, so it'll also act as a translation tool, so if we have something in Spanish, um, we can analyze it, but if I force Resolve to say, put this into English, it'll translate it for me as well, which is great. It makes life much, much easier. Oh, it sure does, yeah. because I, I have to work with different languages as well. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I don't speak Spanish, but a lot of times they're asking me to do Spanish. Pro yes. So, so that is just awesome. Yeah, it's um, it, it said it, it just it just sort of helps speed up things. Oh, it's so much tremendously so, and I'm just so pleased that Black Magic is listening to their users and updating Resolve for, to help us. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you may see from the amount of releases that we've done, we're, we're a company that likes to innovate and said it is just, it's really exciting, everything we're doing, sort of not just re around Resolve, but with, you know, the new cameras we brought out, oh, oh, yeah. the 2110 infrastructure as well. Yeah, it's, it's an exciting place to work. Okay, thank you for showing that to me. I really appreciate this. Is Al this is Alan Halfhill for Personal View. Please subscribe to our... YouTube channel, and we'll see you later. Thank you.